student i have already started chapter 7 that is fraction today i am going to start a new topic from this chapter that is fraction reduced to lowest term so what do you understand by lowest term lowest term means the smallest term so suppose i am taking one example 4 by 10 so 4 by 10 is divided by 2 and the lowest term of 4 by 10 is 2 by 5 Again, I am taking a number ten by sixteen. So, how can we do the in another method? So, first we factorize ten two into five. Then we factorize sixteen, and it is two into two into two. So, children, see which one is common factor in both. So, it is two, and. Two is the common factor of this number, and when we ten by sixteen cut from two, we find five by eight, and it is the lowest term of this quotient. Another method of doing um, the smallest uh, number by step by step. How can we do this number in step by step? Suppose I am taking a number twenty four by Thirty-six. So, are you seeing the even number in last? So, blindly we divide with two. It is twelve by eighteen. So, in first step it is twelve by eighteen, and in second step twelve by eighteen we divide by two. Two six is twelve. Two nine is eighteen. So it is six by nine. In third step, we will take six by nine divided by three. Three two is a six. Three three is a nine. So it is two by three. So it is the lowest term of twenty four by thirty six. So is it clear? Now look carefully in exercise seven point three. So. Look carefully in your textbook. Exercise seven point three, question number one. That is, state whether the fractions are in their lowest term or not. So first, I am taking from question number one, a number. So how can we find out the lowest term? You know very well. In first, we divide with two. So two six is twelve. Two nine is eighteen. So Again with three, three two is a six, three three is a nine. So it is not in lowest term. So we write here no. Again we take question number B. It is twenty by twenty one. There is no number. Bo divide the both the numbers. So it is yes, it is in their lowest term. Now in question number two, the question is encircle the fraction which is in its lowest term. So three by five, nine by fifteen, forty by sixty, and twelve by twenty. So children, you see, you can divide nine by fifty, forty by sixty, twelve by twenty. So only one number is left that we can't divide the both number with same number. So it is three by five. So lowest term of In this group is three by five. Now question number three. From question number three, I am taking question number C. Forty-five by sixty. So you see five and zero. Which number we can divide? You remember? I have explained before two or three week. It is if in last five or zero, it is divided by five. So five nines are. Forty-five and five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Again, it is divided by three. Three three is a nine. Three four is a twelve. And three by four is the lowest term of this question. Now, from question number three, I am taking question number E. It is thirty by forty-two. So zero to Definitely, we divide with two. Fifteen two is a thirty, and twenty one two two is a four, and two one is a two twenty four. Sorry, twenty one 
टूज आर फोर्टी टू एंड आफ्टर दैट थ्री फाइव जार फिफ्टी थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन सो लोवेस्ट टर्म इज फाइव बाई सेवन आई होप बाई दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन यू कैन डू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री वेरी ईजीली सो यू विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री इन योर रफ नोटबुक थैंक यू